Today we sailed through the Bermuda Triangle to this deserted island to spend 50 hours on the island. But we messed up. We didn't know it was gonna be so hard to get from the sailboat to the island because the coral reef is blocking the sailboat from getting any closer to the shore. All I want right now is to get off this boat. We're getting so seasick. The best way to get from the sailboat to the island would be with a dinghy. We don't have one of those, but we found this swimming pool. Some of the kids are gonna ride in that. Ashton and I are gonna yep, pull them we're gonna pull up. using yeah. these little underwater scooters. Do you feel like you're gonna sink or can I add one more? Good? Okay, looks like we're gonna do this, guys. Are you doing okay? No. What's wrong? I just can't wait to get on the island and I hope the seasickness gets up and goes away. And... What's up, guys? I can't believe we're doing this. This is crazy. Ah, we're almost there. I did it. I made it onto the island. I made it onto the island, but everyone else is either swimming or on that raft. Woo! They're so close, but I don't know what's going on. Mom hit a, hey, a sea urchin? That is not good. We're almost there, Brighton. Come give me a hand. Alright. I smacked into a pile of sea urchins with my hand. Ah! We did it! We're on the island! We yeah. Yeah. yeah! It took us longer to get here than we thought, but we got here before the sun set. We don't have much time to make up our camp before the sun goes down, and it's gonna get cold. So we gotta hurry and do this. Yeah. I'm already cold. Come on. Did we grab the tent from the boat? Hopefully. Guys, we're to the island, but we left our tent on the boat, and we also left towels, and I'm I'm really cold. I don't know what we're gonna have to do because it's getting dark quick. I just realized how crazy this all is. I just, we just showed our babies on a blow, <laughs> on a blow up swimming pool in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> we finally got our tent on the island. We're looking for a place that is not gonna get soaked. There is seaweed up here. That means that sometimes the water does come up. So uh, I was over just trying to get some stuff set up. I saw something floating in the ocean and now I'm really concerned because I thought everything made it in our little pool. I just found our dry bag in the ocean. All of our phones. Our phones were in there? Yes. So now, I don't know what we have or what we don't have. We didn't quite get camp set up before dark, but it's almost done now. We got our tent up, but the stakes will not stake into the soft sand, so it, it just like stays halfway up. It's the best we can do. Right in, round up the boys, make a campfire. We need to get dinner going. Guys, I'm about to light the fire. Light I'm so yet. excited. Don't light it yet. Don't light it yet. What is it? This is the only wood we have for cooking tonight. We can't light it until everyone's like ready and done doing their task. Let's light it! <laughs> Whew. Finally, we have wet, soaked chairs because they fell in the ocean, but we have warm fire. We are hungry. You guys ready to get some food going? Oh, yeah. yeah, what do we have? Uh, <laughs> I need to go find out what made it, guys. I don't even know. I found as much in the ocean as I could. I'm sure we have some food. Here goes the first hot dog. I'm concerned the weenies are going to shrink and fall through the cracks when they're cooked. That would be bad because then we'd run out of weenies. We need some more wood to make a bigger fire. Um, Kaysen, Paxson, Ashton, here's my light. Where do I put the weenie juice? I got the oh. first hot dog. Yeah. How is it, Peyton? I don't know yet. I don't know if it's sandy. <laughs> it's good? First meal all day. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't had a hot dog in years, but this smells so good. <laughs> it's hot. You can't even close his mouth. It's hot. <laughs> you have any more buns? hot dog. Uh, All right, we made it to the island. We had our first meal. This challenge has officially begun, and there's hope. We might be able to spend 50 hours on the island. Day two. Yesterday was pretty awesome. I'm glad nobody got hurt. That's my biggest fear is that somebody's gonna get hurt while we're out here. I'm feeling all right, a little tired. There was water hitting the tent last night. We definitely did not put it high enough. Honestly, I slept pretty good. Oh, the hard sand, but. 
Today, the family will be competing in several challenges. Every time they win a challenge, they'll get a clue as to where this buried treasure chest is hidden. It contains 1,000 gold coins. That should be some motivation for them. Hopefully, I remember where it is under this tree right here. Now, if they find it on their own, that counts too. They don't have to wait to get the clues. I'm gonna have to dig some more false holes so they don't see that all the dirt was disturbed right here. I don't know what's gonna happen today, really. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I think we're just doing some challenges, I hope. We're gonna spend the next, like, how many more hours? 35 more hours, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. 30? How long have we been here? I forgot. I'm gonna build a table so we have somewhere to stick our breakfast. All right. Breakfast is served. All right, guys, congratulations on surviving your first night and morning on the island. We're going to now explore the entire island and see what we can find. But I have a surprise for you because this morning I hid $10,000 in a treasure chest somewhere on the island. If you find it, you get to keep it. What? Not serious? Actually, it's just $1,000 in gold, but it's still pretty cool. We're gonna have some challenges throughout the day. Every time you win a challenge, you will receive a clue as to where the treasure chest is hidden. It's not gonna be easy to find, so those clues might be what it takes for you to find it. Are you guys ready to explore this island? Yeah. Yeah. Keep an eye out for that treasure chest. Let's go! Woo. We're going exploring! Woo. I'm gonna find the treasure chest. Check this out, we found a fossilized conch shell. I wonder how old this conch shell is. Maybe like hundreds of years old, that's crazy. We found a bunch of endangered birds. Those birds are actually called boobies and... Um, right, and stop looking at the boobies. What? No! They're pretty birds. All right, we were gonna try to climb this hill to see what was up there. It looks like these boobies are nesting and they're trying to protect their young and so we're not gonna go up there and disturb them. But look at this one right here. It's got two little babies under her. It's so cool. You guys, we came to a dead end where this bee seems to run into some rocks, but this looks like a beautiful place to fish. So this is your first challenge. Whoever catches the first fish wins the challenge and gets the clue about where the treasure is. Oh, it's huge. I mean, oh yeah, I won the first challenge for sure. Dude, look how big that thing is. That thing's gotta weigh like almost 200 pounds. 200 pounds? <laughs> yeah, it's massive. And I caught a fish in my net and I was bringing it back and then I looked back and it was just gone. But I didn't lose technically because no one else caught anything either. So. Guys, I saw a fish and I almost caught it but I reeled in too quick. Man. Uh, I don't see anything no in there. Way you caught a fish. What? <laughs> There's no way you caught no. a fish. What? There's a fish in there. Did you actually what? go and catch that? Yeah. Did we put a? Does that even count? It's Dude, a no fish. way. Yeah. So small though. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Where is it? <laughs> I can't find it. There it is. It's dead. You caught a dead fish. Well, for sure. Well, she, well, I still she still found caught it. a fish, so I guess it counts. Peyton what? gets to know the clue. What? No. <laughs> no, no, no. That is so lame. All right, Peyton, good job on catching catching the fish. Was it just like floating on the surface or something? It wasn't floating. It was just like in the middle. Okay, sure. Here's your clue. The treasure is buried in the beach. In the sand? Mm -hmm. Buried in the sand. All right, it is lunch. It is time for a little time snack. Time for lunch? Did you guys hear something? Yeah. Is there someone back there? There's a, is that a person? I think there's a person on our deserted island. Hello? Hey, how are you guys? Uh, um, we're, we're good. good. Hey, what are you doing on this island? Hanging out, doing a little fun challenge video. You're in Devil's Island. Devil's Island? That's the name of this island, Devil's Island, Cayo Diablo. I brought my kids to Devil's Island. That's why nobody's here ever. That's why it's an empty island. Wow, what you're is here with your family alone. Yeah. yeah, we brought the kids. Like, do you feel like it's unsafe it for dangerous? my kids to be here? Once nice. you treat the island right and you respect, you know, you ask permission to be here. But I'm telling you, if you are back to the island, she will get back to you. Okay, did you guys hear that? Yeah, so yes. we got to be good and make sure we don't leave a mess here. Okay, thank you for the uh, warning. Enjoy it, enjoy it. They call me Bebo. Hi, Bebo. Bye, bye. So, I apparently brought my children to, to Devil's, Devil's Island. Island. That's epic! <laughs> Best mom ever. Yeah! 
I guess they came because they saw our boat and they know no one's ever here because it's Devil's Island and no one yeah. comes. So they came in to warn us that the boat was rocking pretty big, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm, it's just, it's, I'm sure it's fine. The Bermuda Triangle is a crazy thing because I know so many ships and planes have like just disappeared. I think that whirlpools aren't gonna come because we're in the Bermuda Triangle. I feel like it's gonna suck this whole island up like today. Okay, Ninja fam, I've got another challenge for you. Whoever can skip a rock the furthest, the most skips wins. Oh yeah, so, I think I, I got this. Win. I definitely yeah. okay, You I'm have gonna 10 seconds to find a rock, go. What, what? 10 seconds? <laughs> I'm gonna win. Okay, who's going first? <laughs> first up is Kaysen. Let's see the rock he chose. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small. Do you think it's gonna be a winner? Yeah. Okay, come over here. I didn't see it go anywhere. Are you sure you threw it? Yeah. Okay, I, I think probably it's not gonna be a winner. Zero but, point. Okay, next up is Peyton. Let's see your rock. Okay, that looks like it could do pretty well. Let's see. I think she got one skip. Paxton's one up. Skip. Let's see your rock. Oh, he got two. Was that two or three skips? I think that was two. There's two, skip skip at the two end. skips, I think. Paxton's in the lead. Let's see your rock, Ashton. Guys, I got a pretty good rock. I'm pretty confident. Oh, no, I missed oh. up. No. Oh, that throw was terrible, I and he only up. got like one skip. This is my rock, and I'm totally gonna win. This is gonna be an easy victory. I feel like I can win. You ready? One, two. He got two skips. Uh, I thought it would have done better, but at least I'm not out yet. Can I? Can I skip hey, all the rocks? Hey, you're supposed I to choose one rock. Yeah, one rock. I'll take ah, this one. I'll hey, take this one. Hey, I'm not. This is not. Okay, yeah, where's your rock? Okay. Your rock. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, what? She got one skip. Right. That Paxton means it's a tie win. between Brighton and Paxton. They get to skip uh. again. Oh, oh he won. Yeah. Brighton only got one skip. Guys. That means Paxton just needs two skips to win. Come on, Paxton. Oh, oh, zero. He zero. got zero skips. That means I Paxton won. got zero skips. He had a little bump. Good job on skipping the rock. Your clue is palm tree. Palm tree? It's close to a palm tree, that means for sure. Maybe in a palm tree. There's only like five palm trees. I totally got this. All right, let's see what happens. Dude, I'm gonna find this, woo! Good job so far, guys. Your next challenge is to see how much island trash you can find, gather it up, and bring it back to our camp so that we can remove it from the island. A lot of trash floats up on these islands. It's bad for the environment, it's bad for the animals. We're gonna take any trash that we find off of this island. Whoever gathers the most trash will get the next clue. Guys, right now I'm going through all the brush. It's a lot faster to go there to there and go all the way around the island. There are prickly pear cactuses everywhere. Definitely don't want to step on one of those. Peyton did not bring any shoes. I think she was planning to ride my back. This is actually a pretty big island. All right. Woo! I enjoyed the jungle trek. I didn't kick any cactus, so and I feel I made good. it. And Kaysen made it. It's a win. <laughs> so I just found the jackpot of trash. Yeah, look how many bottles I found. Nope, these are all mine. There's one more little piece back here. Well, if you share the clue with me, I'll let you use the net. Uh, no, I'll just carry it the rest of the way. I'm going to win the next challenge and get two clues. Got another bottle. Look how much stuff I've gotten. I found a piece of trash. I I'll still take got it. it. Oh, no, no, no. My trash. We're back at camp and the Ninja Fam is bringing their trash in. Casey, and where's your trash, buddy? I didn't find any. You didn't find any? All right. I think Peyton's pile is bigger than Paxton's pile. Looks like Peyton's in the lead so far. I got a bunch of garbage and I picked up some net. Whoa! Whoa, that's okay, a lot. Ashton got quite a bit of garbage. This is my pile. That's not bad, but it's not enough to give you the lead. No, I thought I was going to win. I didn't know they would find so much. I was finding little things. I didn't know. That's things. it? That's your whole pile? I own all the fishing poles. There appears to be a conflict between Peyton and Ashton. You want to tell them what happened? OK, so I found this, and it was in the ground. I was like pulling on it. And I'm like, hey, Ashton, I can't get it out. He goes, let me try. And then, and then I, and then, I, wait, I no, no, no. Okay. Let me finish my story. I mean, he starts pulling on it, and I go, wait, Ashton, that means you're going to say it's yours. And he goes, yep. And I say, wait, no, no, no. And he just pulls it out and walks away. So I think it all comes down to this. I'm going to say this is going to be left neutral, which means it's out of play. It does appear 
that Peyton has a larger pile, which means that she now gets her second clue. Wait, yeah. Peyton Let's won. That's crazy. Let's see how big the items first. And no, then no, I, so I agree. I think Peyton has I, more what about garbage. Paxton? What about Paxton? Yeah, I think yeah, Peyton yeah. wins. They all agree with me. Since, since I no. helped you win, will you tell me your clue? Maybe. Maybe? All right, I'll take it. Not cool, Brighton. Great job, Peyton. You're the only person with two clues now. Your clue is shade. Oh, okay. Let's see if Peyton can find the treasure with those two clues. So I know that it's buried in the shade. Peyton and I are going to tell each other's clues so we can have a better idea. But still, whoever finds it first gets all the money. Flashback to my clue so you guys know what my clue is and what Peyton's clues are. Buried in the beach, shade, palm tree. Now my clue, as you remember, is a sailboat. And my clue, should I tell both of them? I'll tell one of them. Buried, buried in the sand. Buried in the sand, all right. What are you, why are you laughing? Guys, I lied, that's not my clue. Ah! You have to tell me your clue. No, I don't have to tell you anything. You told me your clue no, and I didn't tell no, you, you mine. I'm sorry, Peyton. Man, it's just strategy to win the money. No, it's cheating. No, it's strategy. But you said you won and you didn't, so it's cheating. Do you want everyone on YouTube to think you're a liar and a cheater? Um, I wish you luck, Peyton. No. You might find it. All right, we're away from everyone, so I can tell you. You know my clue was palm trees, and I got the clue from Peyton that I was buried under the sand. So. The logical thing to do is just search all the palm trees. I mean, it has to be around a palm tree, right? Let's go. I don't know. Oh, oh, that was pokey. Guys, I don't know where to search. I've got to look for like disturbed sand that like wasn't there all day because I think they just dug it this morning. I should be able to see something unless it's at a different palm tree. I'm trying to search for the treasure, but Peyton and Paxson are here following me and looking at where I'm going. And I think they're going to try to steal the treasure if I find it. Guys, they are right at the tree where the treasure is buried. Brighton's digging in it right now. He's, he's gonna find it for sure. Is that it? I, I did hit something solid. Who will find the treasure? Will they make it off the island? Stay tuned for part two to find out if the Ninja Kids survive.